Hello everybody. Okay, so for this one, we are going to talk about the cylindrical shell method. So when do we use the cylindrical shell method? Okay, so we'll illustrate this one and then by, uh, suppose we have our rectangular element right here. Okay. And then we will uh, rotate this rectangular element about an axis parallel to the length of the rectangle. Okay, so we're going to rotate the element at this axis. So basically, what will happen if we rotate this? Uh, so if we rotate this rectangular element. And about the specified axis, magkakaroon tayo ng okay, something like that. Although it's not properly drawn, uh, I hope you get the idea. Meron tayong cylindrical shell. Okay? So, cylindrical shell. So, how do we find the volume of the cylindrical shell? Okay, this can be calculated uh, through cutting a section. Okay? I-cut natin dito sa part na ito. And then let us try to spread the let us try to spread the figure. So ang itsura niyan is actually a rectangular prism. Okay, ganyan yung itsura niya, no? Kapag kinat natin. Okay, this length is actually the circumference of the average of the two circles. Okay? Kasi maliit lang naman yung thickness nito. Maliit lang yung thickness ng rectangular element natin. So, we can assume that this length is the average of the two, uh, two circles. Okay? So, in this case, this is two pi times the radius. Okay, the radius from this axis papunta dito sa gitna ng rectangular element natin. Yan yung radius natin. Okay? The height of course of the of this block is the height of the rectangular element. So, this is uh, uh, sabi natin L. Okay? And the thickness <coughs> The thickness is uh, the thickness of the rectangular element. Okay, so dito ang ano natin thickness. So, ang symbol natin dito in the book is h. Okay, so what is the volume then of the rotated or the solid? The volume is just length times width times height. So that is two pi r times the height times the thickness, say h. Okay? So, ang nagbabago lang naman dito is r, l, and h. Okay? Kung vertical yung ating uh, rectangular element, so, ang ating thickness ay uh, dx. Tama? So, kapag ano natin ito, uh, kapag kinuha natin yung uh, differential volume, the differential volume is 2 pi Kapag ganyan, yung radius natin is actually x, okay? At saka yung height natin is actually y, okay? Kang, uh, from the, kapag nakaupo yan sa x-axis, okay? So, we have the radius and the length times the differential thickness. Integrate lang natin ito from uh, to uh, limits from A to B. So, yan yung ating actually uh, formula in computing for the volume of the cylindrical shell. So, in the next video, we are going to illustrate itong formula na ito. Okay?